just to we know that information gives us more and more by day but we have but with what we need is a wisdom behind overwhelming information totoo ba yun? Uh, sabi nga nila what is the age of today ano na ba ang age tayo some people will say it's an age of information but actually we are not already in the age of information we already surpassed that one we are right now in the age of concept it means that we are already having a lot of information unfortunately for some of us overloaded na tayo ng information and that's the reason di ba tayo pagka sa Facebook pa lang di ba sobra overwhelming information hindi na nakikita yung picture but we just like like na lang pero hindi ko na nakita yung loob eh ng pictures yung gallery we don't see the whole pictures ng gallery pero like na lang tayo that's how information overload na tayo so what we need right now is wisdom okay filtering all this information okay and make this one useful for us. No? Sabi nga, it should be proven and verified in our practice. So the story, I will tell you, it's a very interesting story. Okay. And which will validate the principle of my proposal. This is my friend, no, actually. This is architect Rogelio Villarosa. Okay, and with his son, uh, Roy, receiving the BCA Asia Award. Okay, so it's the founder and principal or principal of Art uh, Art Architects Partners and Associate. Did you know that he had his apprenticeship with uh, Philippe M. Mendoza, which is one of the postmodern architect? More than two years before he took the board exam, and then he came back working with him also. Okay, and then he became a project architect. So again, being a technically good, he became a project architect. He one of his biggest project in terms of all aspect of working on that on the project is that the National Library of the Philippines, which is very near here. It was done in the 1960s and until now still standing. So apprenticeship, which is he did when he was young and new architect, and then he did the project. I mean, he became a project architect for this project. Then later on, did you know that he became a studio manager for GM and Partners? Okay, he worked there for 10 years. Uh, the funny thing about it is he's the one who's managing the whole studio, the whole design firm. Formoso, Gabriel Formoso, doing the marketing, doing the finding uh, clients, mga elite no? in, in Makati and in the society. Pero si Villa Rosa is the one who's managing the whole office. Creating a system for him. And then later on, he became the principal and the founder of our Villa Rosa Architects. And they're practicing for 43 years. And believe me, they're one of the top 10 architectural firms in the Philippines. Working with different consultants. So let me show you some of, her, some of his work works okay i'm sure you know this one this is gram rc it's also the bca twin towers the shangri-la working with edsha shangri-la hotel and even my my place the linear makati so even in bahay ko pala ginawa ni villarosa okay so this is architect villarosa okay you see he started out with a great mentor Architect Felipe Mendoza became technically good when he developed a system for Formoso and applied it on his own, and that makes him one of the premier architects of our time. No. So, my challenge to you guys, my fellow architects, are you ready to write down your own story and create your own history? As we conclude our conversation, no, I want you to tell take that challenge. Sabi nga nila, as the lyrics of the song Amazing, sino ba aware doon? Siguro medyo bata pa. Okay, say, life is a journey, not as a destination. No? So let us enjoy the life that we have in our profession. 
As we cruise in our practice, we proper understand and to have success in our own rights. So I'm not saying that the success will be just equivalent to be a big Villarosa. But what I'm saying right now, every one of you here have their own rights of success. You have your own objective in life and you have your own success when you plot your when you nice when you plot your your life, no? So sabi nga ni architect Jan, no? in relation, no? In relation to the World Architecture Day, no? what is the theme for this year? Design a better world. To design a better world, you should be equipped with this. To be technically expert, to be efficient, and to be a doer of ideas. And thus, thus we sum up Better world, better architecture, better design. Sabi nga nila yung acronym, what the... So may you have a successful practice. And thank you very much. And may God bless us all. And oh, by the way, I have one thing. Just be not a knowledge taker, but a doer of idea. As I always say, concept will be born in the course of action. Again, good morning and thank you very much. Thank you, sir.